Alice Powell. So good to see Alice Powell up fourth on the grid, the reigning BARC Formula Renault champion and found a little bit of form. That was uh, her flying lap here, the, the lap that got her fourth on the grid was the very last lap of qualifying yesterday. So she timed that well, got the car hooked up. So she's the leading manor competition car in this one. We've got, again, four different teams in the first five slots on the grid, Simon Hill. It's a very competitive championship. It is, and a very focused young lady there, Alice. Just absolutely determined to try and get herself uh, a decent finish. The last time she qualified really well was at Thruxton when I think she was second on the grid and unfortunately got a, a bit clouted from behind by uh, our friend Pedro Pablo, which put her out of the race and um, <laughs> had contact with a teammate in the previous race. So I think there's a good chance we, should, we could see uh, Alice a bit of a joshing, She did, yeah. <laughs> she could be challenging for a podium. Will Stevens is going to be impressive in this one. I've got a he actually set the fastest time in qualifying session one. But as you said, a technical irregularity meant that his time was decided he had to start at the back and then we saw him retire from race one here. Still an enthusiastic and excited crowd and we see Alex Lynn there proudly displaying the BRDC Superstars logo on the side, an initiative set up by the British Racing Drivers Club for their rising stars and their superstars, which are the young drivers of which there's quite a few on this grid actually. And uh, there's a famous one, there's another of our rising stars, um, Josh Hill. There's quite a few in the paddock and this is where they're recognised as our future superstar of racing drivers of the future. And, and all of the drivers, all of these young drivers, I think the, the, uh, is the, the age is between 14 and 23 years old, have to be a, a Commonwealth citizen. And they're all extremely proud to carry that little logo. There's the next generation. Now, oh, it's a rising star, yeah, definitely, look at that. Yeah. And, and she's going, I've had that bit, I've got my earmuffs now. <laughs> 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 it's just me. I've got my mind, maybe. <laughs> So the cars coming round uh, into the infield. Here's the grid for round 12 of the championship. Alex led the championship leader on pole position. And uh, returning Will Stevens alongside. Row 2, Tio Ellis, victory in race 1 for him. Alice Powell alongside on in position 4. Then it's Dan Kamish on row 3 with Jordan King. Pole in race 1, 6 on the grid for round 12. On to row four, Ed Jones, newcomer to the championship. Next to him is Oscar King. Then it's Ollie Rowland and Josh Hill. Felix Serrales on row six with Pedro Pablo Calvamonte on his outside. The rear of the grid sees Dan Wells for ATEC Reed Grand Prix and Jack Hawksworth, his teammate, who didn't get any laps in yesterday for electronic problems on the car. At the start, it's, uh, he'll get a, a flag if he is deemed to be out of position as the after the race gets underway. Ready on top. Great start there, Tio, from the third time to go in fourth position. Alex Powell tries to cut across to consolidate their fourth position. But a great start by Alex Lee. Will Stevens in second place. Tio is in third. Alex Powell in fourth position. Then Dan Collins, the Oxford Man, who is 22 years of age, in fifth position as they come down into Montreal for the first time. Yeah, Alex Powell trying to have a little look down the inside of LNS. He got very defensive quite early, understandably. King trying to get a good run through somebody on the grass, so I think that might have been Ed Jones yeah. in the background, and certainly they or Pedro Cabamonte is one of the two accusers, why yeah. those putting green, green, yeah. green, yeah. green, 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 so here they come then, it's Alex Lee. Great stop in Dan Trangerston for the first time. Big lock up there as they go to Trangerston. They said that was one place where they might well be able to uh, put in an overtaking manoeuvre, but uh, this is bad news for Tio, isn't it? Because obviously Will Stevens technically is uh, not really the championship chase, and uh, is this going to nick points off Tio? Yeah, potentially that's going to be a bit of a problem for him, but you know, obviously you've got to beat everybody that's out there at the back of that is. Ed Jones, I think, just uh, making his way through. So there's a good solid start to his Formula Renault campaign. A big jump up for Formula Renault. Oh, 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 that's, that's something that's collected now. Now that, I'm sure, is yes. I was going to say, sure, is going to have done a lot of damage. That's oh, Hawksworth. That's Hawksworth. That is trying to come through from the back, Jack Hawksworth. Unless uh, uh, he's, he's OK. Away. He's OK. I was just concerned. I mean, my, my that concern, does hurt because oh, my concern all weekend has been a single-seater driver ending up with that thing going across the front of the car. And uh, you can see just how solid he is. I can understand why the officials have done it and he's saying he's i think he's probably saying i can't believe that look at the damage that's done to that car it's probably worth explaining why the officials didn't do that the officials explained that uh, in qualifying there was uh, an issue as the safety car comes out the good thing is that jack hawksworth is obviously out of the car let's see how alex lynn makes this restart down the center straight second position will stevens third to Ellis. And they all start well. Jack Hawksworth is uh, OK. We've seen the car recovered now here at Snetterton. And we're back racing with a uh, couple of extra laps to allow for the safety car. And 
through there will go down through Lynch's corner. So quickly they go down those corner of a 16 down towards the back of the field. Recently recruited in 18 Grand Prix team. Oh, yeah, John oh, King having a look. Big Camish, uh, yeah. frustration perhaps in that earlier race started to come out. This is uh, difficult because obviously the brakes in these couples are superb, but you need to keep them quite warm as you do on most super seats. So when they've had a couple of laps going around coolly, they could have maybe let the brakes cool down and suddenly can get the brakes, the brakes, the brakes even cracked <laughs> a little bit. And the problem we have is as we get later and later in the day, more of the circuit's getting dirtier, we're getting a situation now where the tyres are obviously having to work very, very hard. It is tough to, to keep that Alice there under a little bit more pressure from uh, Dan Kamish and a uh, big lock up from somebody there. Yeah, through the go, I think that might well have been Calvin Monty, who was going down into Bundle, the first part of the old S. There he is, car number seven running, currently 10th position. Theo Anderson third goes through, there's Alice Bauer, Dan Kamish chasing her, and it's uh, Jordan King, Ollie Rowland in the mix as well, in the 44 machine. It's the red, white, blue car. Then Josh Hill is coming up through the order as well. Josh qualified in 10th uh, position tonight in, in this one.
Ron Stevens has crossed the line in second position from Theo Ellis. The graduate win has gone to Alice Bowne, who takes fourth position. That's going to be a big fillet for Alice's confidence. A graduate win, fourth place, a good high finish for her, some good defensive driving from Alice. Then Results of round 12 from here at Snefton. Alex Lynn takes his ninth win of the year with Will Stevens in second place and Theo Allen her second in the championship, third in the race. Alice Powell, top graduate in this race in fourth position, then Josh Hill, Dan Camish in sixth place from Ollie Rowland, Jordan King in eighth, Felix Serrales takes ninth position ahead of Ed Jones. Dan Wells comes home in eleventh position from Pedro Pablo Calvin Monti and Oscar King completing the finishes in thirteenth.